ChatGPT is an open source AI software that launched in late 2022. It gained over a million users in less than five days, and it's taking the internet by storm. Previously, everyone had heard of artificial intelligence. They had associated it with big data, tech companies, and just the future in general. But with ChatGPT, people finally realize that artificial intelligence is here for retail investors. You can use it to make millions of dollars, and there's real value in knowing how to use the tool. So in today's video, I want to go over a basic guide for beginners for how to use ChatGPT, some of the limitations of it, some of the advantages of it, and just how to get started and get the ball rolling with artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence, for those who aren't familiar, basically just refers to the ability for, of computers and machines to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as recognizing patterns, making decisions, and processing language. But with ChatGPT, the way it actually works is that it was trained by a large data set that allows it to make human-like responses to a wide variety of questions and prompts. ChatGPT can be used for a wide range of tasks, ultimately ranging from text generation, translation, customer service, content generation, and more. The way it actually works is very, very simple, and how to get started is easy. All you need to do is go to openai.com slash blog slash chat GPT. I'll put a link down below. Then you just have to click try chat GPT, and you can easily sign up using your Gmail account. It takes less than a minute to do. All you need to do is click sign up, you go to continue with Google and you select your Google account. Easy, simple, less than one minute. Then it brings you to the dashboard for chat GPT where you can see all the different features and interface of the actual platform. Remember, if you're watching this, you are still early. Not many people know about it, even though you are watching this video and people are going to continue to realize the value in it, whether you're talking law firms, content creators, marketing agencies. So this is very extremely valuable tool. With ChatGPT, you can see it shows you on the main page some examples, some capabilities, and some limitations. For example, it says you can say, explain quantum computing in simple terms. Got any creative ideas for a 10-year-old's birthday? Or how do I make HTTP request in JavaScript? Capabilities, it has a few things listed and limitations as well. I want to start off with one basic uh, prompt, then we'll go into some of the limitations. One thing that ChatGPT can do is answer any question. Remember, it can help you with recipes. It could help you with creating legal documents. It could help you edit essays. Anything you could do on Google, normally you'd ask a question. With ChatGPT, you simply tell it to give you a response. So for Google, you would normally say, what are sushi recipes, F including salmon? But with ChatGPT, all you tell it to do is say, tell me five sushi recipes with salmon. And it automatically gives you five recipes. You don't have to go searching. You don't have to do anything. It automatically gives you a response. Very easy, very simple to do. The one problem with ChatGPT, there's actually a few problems, but some of the limitations with ChatGPT currently are that with ChatGPT, it currently has three or four main limitations in my opinion. The first is that it cannot access the internet or location-based information. With ChatGPT, OpenAI ultimately cannot access access the internet, it cannot provide real-time information, and its data set is limited to events that happened before 2021. That is when the last um, set of information was uploaded and the last set of knowledge that ChatGPT knows. So you can't have it find information on the web of recent events or major events that are currently happening. The second limitation is in terms of input length and output length. As you can see, we gave ChatGPT a very simple entry. Five sushi recipes, including salmon, but you cannot give it very long uh, uh, entries that could be pages and pages long. It needs simple entries and it limits the amount of text you can type in. Likewise, it also limits the amount of text it can return to you. It ultimately does this because it would take forever to respond or it would error out and it does not have the capabilities yet to write entire novels or entire scripts for movies. You could tell it to continue and it'll keep going from wherever it left off, but it doesn't 
have the capability to give you entire novels, entire movie scripts from the beginning. It limits the amount of output. And the third and probably biggest, in my opinion, uh, limitation of ChatGPT currently is that it lacks multimodal output and inputs. Right now, all you can do is input text, ask it questions, give it prompts. You cannot input any sort of images or you cannot input any other type of information like URLs or audio or any other input it has to be only text. And there are other AI softwares out there that let you do um, images, URLs, audio, but ChatGPT only allows you to input text. And likewise, it only outputs text. This could all change over time, but these are some of the limitations. Now let's talk a little bit about some additional features and things I like about ChatGPT. When we're looking at the platform, um, there are a few things that really stand out. First of all, this has a very simple and intuitive design. Very easy to use, very simple to sign up. When you're looking at ChatGPT, if you want to make a new response, all you do is you click on new chat. You can type in any prompt, any question, and ChatGPT will instantly give you the answer to it. In addition, to this, if you're looking at the left side of the screen, it can store any of your previous responses, which is something that is crucial in my opinion. It's something that helps differentiate ChatGPT from other AI softwares out there. You can see all of your previous entries from the past. You can even go ahead and add to them and make modifications or anything else you want. For example, I had write me an essay about Alzheimer's and prevention, and it talks all about Alzheimer's disease, um, current prevention, if there are currently any cures and all the other details to it. And if you want to make any edits to the essay, you simply could type in, um, make the introduction longer and chat GPT will go ahead and make the introduction even longer. It goes ahead and makes any corrections, any edits you want to it. And it does this for all of your previously stored inputs. That's something that's very important. In addition to this, when you want to go ahead and clear out your old conversations, you might be wanting to look a little bit cleaner and start over. You can go to the left-hand side of the screen, click on clear conversations, and it will clear all of your previous entries, all of your previous responses and questions into ChatGPT. So it's a very simple and easy way to organize your different inquiries um, that you have put over time. That is something that is really cool. In addition to this, when you're looking at the software, you can see that it has a dark mode and a light mode dark mode right here light mode there much like any other simple intuitive design of any application we see these days so when you're looking at this it's very simple very intuitive but there are some limitations for chat gpt over time i'm hoping that it does eventually get access to more up-to-date information maybe even able to browse the internet find relevant information in real time, but that is still a long ways away. The most important thing in my opinion right now is that if you're looking at ChatGPT, you are early to artificial intelligence. You are early to utilizing the software for making money in your everyday life. And everything about artificial intelligence is still in its early stages. So if you are wanting to start a business, wanting to make more money, want to use chat gpt to improve your life there are thousands of ways that you can do that and it's actually a very real way where you can make millions of dollars a year by utilizing its software taking advantage of it when most people in the world aren't yet using it so we're gonna do other videos on more limitations more business ideas more ai tools but i just want to start off with a basic understanding and a basic overview and a basic guide of what ChatGPT is when it started and uh, what it does.